Have you ever felt like your money is just sitting in a bank not doing anything? Imagine if your money could work for you and earn you more money. This is the power of DeFi or decentralized finance. In this video, we're going to explain what DeFi is, why it's important, how it can help you take control of your money, the risks involved and where you can learn more. So stick around and discover the future of money. Hi, my name is Paula and welcome to my web tree and tech channel. Before we get stuck into this video, if you find this content useful, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and I hope that you'll hit this like button so I can smash past 20 likes on this video. DeFi stands for decentralized finance. It's a way for people to use digital money and assets like crypto to make transactions and investments without needing to go through a bank or other traditional financial institutes. It's based on blockchain technology, which is like a digital ledger that keeps track of all the transactions in a secure and a transparent way. Think of DeFi like a big digital marketplace where instead of just buying and selling things, you can lend and borrow money and earn an interest on your savings, all without needing to use a bank. Because it's decentralized, it means that no one person or company is in charge of it. So it's more open and fairer for everybody to use. It's like having a digital piggy bank that can grow your money faster than a regular one. You can lend your money to other people and earn interest on it or borrow money from others and pay interest on it. It's also a great way to trade different types of digital assets like cryptocurrencies. DeFi is important because it offers more options and opportunities for people to manage the money and assets. Here's a few real world examples of how DeFi can be used. So with DeFi, you can put your money into a digital savings account that offer higher interest rates than traditional banks. This means that your money can grow faster and that you can earn more over time. You can access loans more easily with DeFi and you can borrow money from other people or organizations without needing to go through a bank or other traditional lender. Now this can be especially helpful for people who might not be able to get a loan from a bank because of their credit score or other factors. You can also use DeFi to buy and sell and trade different types of digital assets like cryptocurrency without again needing to go through a centralized exchange. This can make it cheaper and easier to trade assets. And with DeFi, you can make your money work harder for you. You can lend your money to other people and earn an interest on it. This can make your money work harder for you and help it to grow faster. There's also financial inclusion with DeFi as DeFi can help bring financial services to people who are currently unbanked or underbanked, meaning those who don't have access to traditional financial services like banking, loans and insurance. So how do you get started? Well, anyone can use DeFi as long as you have access to the internet and some digital money. But before you start using DeFi, you should do some research and learn about it. First, you need to get some digital money like Bitcoin or Ethereum, and you can buy this on a website called an exchange. Once you have digital money, you can use it to do things like lending and borrowing and buying other digital assets or trading on different markets. To do this, you'll need to use a special website called DeFi platform. Now, there's many different platforms to choose from, so make sure you research and find one that you trust. You'll also need to create an account on the DeFi platform and you'll need to keep your account safe by never sharing your password or your private keys with anyone. Once you have an account and some digital money, you can then start using DeFi. DeFi is a way for people to use digital money and make financial transactions online, but it's not like a bank. And because it's not, it's new and it's regulated, not regulated like banks, there's some risks that you need to be aware of before you use it. For example, sometimes the computer code that makes DeFi work can have mistakes and bad people can use those mistakes to steal your money. If something goes wrong, there might not be anyone to help you like there is with a bank. So it's important to do your research and make sure you understand what you're doing before using DeFi. 
sometimes when people use DeFi, they might not be able to get their money back if something does go wrong. So it's so important to be careful and not to use more money than you can afford to lose. The value of cryptocurrency can also change a lot, like the stock market. So it's important to keep an eye on it and to understand the risks. Always remember to keep your digital money safe and never share your password or private keys with anyone. DeFi can help you take control of your money by offering more control and transparency in how your funds are managed. Unlike traditional finance systems, DeFi operates on a decentralized platform, which means there's no central authority controlling your funds. This can provide greater security and reduce the risk of fraud and theft. Now, DeFi also provides more accessibility to financial services, allowing individuals to participate in a wider range of financial activities without being limited by geography or traditional finance institutes. This can include earning interest on deposits, accessing loans, participating in financial markets, such as trading and lending. By taking advantage of DeFi, individuals can have greater control over their finances and make decisions about how their funds are managed and invested, which can lead to greater financial stability and growth. If you want to learn more about DeFi, there's a few places that you can look. One place is on websites like CoinMarketCap, DeFi Pulse and DeFi Llama. These websites tell you about the different DeFi products and how they're doing and other places on social media like Twitter and Telegram where people talk about DeFi and share information. You can also find information in reports written by experts and at meetups where people talk about DeFi. And you'll also find videos and podcasts on this topic as well. So there you have it, folks. DeFi is a new and exciting way to use digital money and make financial transactions online. But remember, just like any new technology, it's important to do your research and understand the risks before diving in. With DeFi, you can lend and borrow, buy other digital assets and trade on different markets, all from the comfort of your home. And who knows, with DeFi, you might just discover the next big thing in finance. But always remember, never invest more than you can afford to lose and always keep an eye on your investment and the market conditions. And as always, stay safe and have fun. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos.